Hey guys and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. This is going to be another video in our hitting approach series. I already did a couple videos on this, uh, the triple crown approach and the zone approach. And um, the reason why I'm doing these videos, guys, I just want to take a quick minute to tell you how important it is to have an approach as a hitter. You know, when I was coming up and uh, playing a lot of baseball, travel ball, that kind of stuff, you know, like you, no, no one ever really told me to have an approach. And I remember thinking back and I'm like, God, I wish I had somebody had told me to have a plan when I was up at the plate. Now you might have already heard this, have a plan when you go up there, someone might say that, but there's not any specific plan that works for every single person. That's why I want to put out a bunch of different approaches that I've tried and that I've heard about so that you guys can have some options to play with and start practicing with. And this is just going to be another approach that you can work with. And I, like, I, call, this, I call this one the, uh, the wild man approach because it's the most aggressive approach I ever personally used. And it was fantastic for when I just needed to like really break out of my shell. I actually used this right when I first went into pro ball. I went to a winter ball league and uh, it was right before I started playing pro ball. And I was playing, facing a lot of guys throwing really hard. It was really intimidating. So... I just went with this approach by the luck of the draw because I was hitting with a coach at the time that was that had me on it. So this, this is exactly what it is. Pretty much all I did was if I saw a fastball, I was swinging at it and I was swinging hard. I was swinging as hard as I freaking could at any fastball that I saw. And the reason why this I got to where it works so well is because I went in there and a, a fastball, in my opinion, is the easiest pitch to hit because it's the most seen pitch and it's you know usually the straightest with the less move with the least amount of movement. So what I would do is I would get in here and I would just look for. I mean, I wouldn't hit any fastball. Of course, they threw it way over there, but I would I would go from my shoulders to my knees and anything that I saw straight anywhere in that zone. I was swinging you know, out of my shoes at and I was going right after it. Now the reason why this it works for some people and doesn't for others is because you subconsciously lay off of pitches that you don't hit well or that are out of the zone. If you're looking for a fastball and you're looking for some, anything straight and you're swinging and you have some experience in seeing a lot of pitches, whenever you see a fastball that's way out of the zone, yeah you see a fastball but you end up just not swinging at it and that's the beauty of this of this approach if it works for you is that whenever you see a fastball and it is somewhere where you can hit it you're ready to rock and roll and as soon as you see it you're ripping it and if you ever seen guys uh, on TV where like they throw a pitch and it just looks like they know it's coming they're probably using something along the lines of this approach so what you're gonna do is get in get you a zone from your shoulders uh, to your knees and anywhere from about six inches inside the plate to six inches outside the plate have yourself a big old zone and anytime you see a straight fastball coming out of the pitcher's hand, if you perceive straight coming out of the hand and it's anywhere in that big zone, go ahead and take a rip at it. And if you guys like this, this approach and it keeps working for you, the more and more you do it, the more and more this zone that seems this big to you is going to shrink down into a zone that's going to be in the strike zone and where you like it. So the, the more you do it, the more this is definitely one of the more dangerous uh, approaches. And that's why I like I call it the wild man approach is because you're just ready to fire at any given moment, but it's a really good aggressive approach, especially if you're having trouble getting the bat off your shoulder or just being aggressive at the plate in general. Now, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is kind of a crazy approach, but hey, you know, like baseball is not a one size fits all kind of sport and you need a lot of different things in your game to, you know, be the, be the best that you can be. And if this is one of those things, then that's what you got to do. And if you guys, if you guys want, haven't checked out, I'll put a couple of links to the other approach uh, videos that I did right here and you can check those out and maybe one oh, got a fly in my face so you can check out one of those and maybe one of those will work for you as well so um, it's a great way to do it uh, it's a great approach uh, and guys if you have any questions on this or have some questions about your own approach leave them in the comment section below and we can talk about it or I can answer whatever questions you guys have just let me know and stay tuned I'm gonna play a preview a uh, bonus preview out of one of the videos in our power hitting series and you can actually click on the link that pops up in that preview or in the description below and see that entire series absolutely free of charge and if you guys could make sure you like subscribe plus one this video on Google that really helps me out thank you so much again for watching guys good luck with your swings and I'll see you guys soon now the best way to understand where our energy is going is this drill where we let go of the bat in our swing. Okay, well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rip open my shoulders like I would on an inside pitch and we're just simply just let go of the bat and throw the bat in the direction where our body's going. Now you can see I ripped my shoulders open and released the bat and it went right down the third baseline 
down the left field. Now, what we want to do, ideally, is we want to have this release go up through the middle or maybe slightly right of second base. So what we do to do this is we keep our shoulders calm and we let our hands fly through the center of the field. 